This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Hey our friends, today we're gonna draw Optimus Primal. Yeah, from Transformers Rise of the Beast. He's the gorilla, the really big gorilla. Yeah. And he's super awesome. If you haven't seen this movie yet, you gotta check it out. We're really excited to draw him today. And uh, this movie is awesome. Yeah, it is. It was really exciting and lots of special effects, especially when the Transformers fight and blow things up. <laughs> Transformers Rise of the Beast is now on digital and you can watch it at home. Parents, click the link in the description below this video to purchase the movie. All right. We Hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your art supplies. We're using markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. Okay, let's start by drawing Optimus Primal's head. We're gonna draw the big gorilla head right here in the middle of the paper, but towards the top so that we have room for his big body. We're gonna start here and let's draw a big upside down U shape. It will kind of an oval shape too, but we're gonna leave the bottom open. So we'll start here. I'm gonna draw coming around like this. And yeah, we're drawing a big gorilla head. So it's kind of a U shape that comes up around and then back down. And we're gonna draw him really angry too with his mouth open. <laughs> Let's draw the bottom of his jaw. So right here on each side, we want these to be even. Then we're gonna connect for the jaw. And so I curve down and then back up. Now let's draw his mouth. And we're gonna start right here. We're gonna come up like this, over, and then back down. And we're drawing with his mouth open. And you can see the big green circle inside too when he yells. It was so cool and kind of scary too. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna draw the bottom of his jaw. And then let's draw the big green circle inside. Oh, let's also add another detail, another circle inside of that. Nice. Now let's draw his gorilla nostrils. We're going to draw them flaring too. So I'm going to draw two circles on each side, although it kind of looks like his eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> funny little eyes. Yeah, funny little eyes. Let's make him more menacing. We're going to draw, oh, these just look like eyebrows now. <laughs> it's like frog eyes. Yeah, frog eyes. <laughs> Now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw them really angry. So I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw it coming out of the nostril right here and we're gonna come up to the side. And then we could also come down like this too. I'm gonna to do the same thing over here. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna draw these really slanted so that they look like they're coming down like he's angry. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of his eye. We're gonna draw it coming across and down and connect back into the, where the nostril or where we started. Then let's draw the inside of his eyes, the green pupil or the light that's in here. We're gonna draw two circles and we're drawing them underneath the eyebrow so they look like they're angry. Okay, now let's draw another line up and over for the eyebrow. And we'll do the same thing on this side. That's awesome. Okay, now let's add another detail. We're gonna draw a rectangle shape right here in the middle of his forehead. Then we're gonna draw a curve or a line that comes up, over, then we're gonna go below the rectangle shape, across, back up, over, and then connect on the other side. That was kind of tricky. So remember to pause the video and take extra time if you need it. Okay, let's add another one of those details coming across and then this time we'll connect into that square shape and then we'll come up. Optimus Primal's face had tons of little pieces and when he would yell, the, all of the pieces would kind of come apart and then come back together. Yeah. It was awesome. Okay, now let's draw his cheek. We're gonna draw a line that comes in underneath and then we're gonna come down and connect to his mouth. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we're trying to draw all of those little pieces and details. There is a lot more details, but we're leaving some of those off to keep the lesson a little easier. Okay, and then let's add a few more lines. I'm gonna draw two lines coming down here and two lines coming down over here. Then let's also add a line here and a line here on each of the eyebrows. And we did it. There's Optimus Primal's face. It looks really <laughs> cool. Now we need to add his body. Let's start here and we're going to draw his big shoulder coming out to the side first. So we're going to draw it coming out like this and then we're going to draw it curving down and we're going to stop just below his chin and we'll do the same thing on the right side. And because he's symmetrical, we're going to repeat all of the same steps on both sides. 
Yeah, okay, now let's draw the curve coming up and connecting to his chin or his cheek, and we'll do the same over here. Some of the gorilla pieces on his on the robot actually had fur, and so let's draw a zigzag line right below the shoulder muscle. We're gonna draw this all the way across to his cheek, and we'll do the same over here. And don't worry about making this part look exactly like how we're drawing. You can change it. Okay, now let's draw his arm or his bicep coming down a little further on each side. Then we're gonna draw a curve for the for the actual bicep part, the inside of his bicep on each side. And then we can connect those two lines together. And let's add more details inside of here to make it look more like a robot. We'll first draw a circle right in the middle. Then let's draw a line down, in, and then down again, kind of like a step. We'll draw it over here too. Down, in, and down again. Okay, now let's draw his forearms, and gorillas have really big forearms. So we're gonna start here, and we'll draw a big forearm coming like this, and then we'll do the same over here. And they come all the way down to the floor, so they line up. They're actually gonna go past his back legs. Now let's draw the outside of his forearm, but this time we're gonna add fur also. So instead of drawing just a simple curve, we're gonna add a zigzag line, but also curve it. So we wanna come out so that it looks muscular. And then at the bottom, we wanna end in the same spot so that it comes down just as far. And then we'll do the same thing over here. He's starting to already look like a gorilla. Yeah. A robot gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> now let's connect his forearms down at the bottom on both sides. Then we can draw his fists. And let's start by drawing the letter U. And we can draw a letter U over here also to match. And then we're gonna draw his hands. We're gonna draw them so that his knuckles, his fists are kind of resting closed on the ground. So we're gonna draw two lines like this or curves coming out on each side. And then we're gonna connect those together at the bottom. Then let's draw lines to divide up the fingers. So one right in the middle, and then we'll split this in the middle also, and then we got four fingers, right? Yes. Let's add the thumb sticking out to the side, but we're gonna make it shorter. So it comes out and then back in. Then we can do the same over here. One right in the middle, then split the left side and also the right side. And then let's draw the thumb coming out and connecting it. Let's add more lines for the knuckles and where the fingers bend. So I'm gonna draw two curves on each finger for the knuckles. And then maybe on the thumb, we'll just add one little line. And then we can do that same thing over here. Let's draw two lines for each knuckle. And one on the thumb. Oh, let's add more lines to make it look more robotic on his hand. I'm gonna draw one line across and two lines, two short lines up. And then we can do that same thing over here. Yeah, we did it. Okay, now let's draw more details on his forearms. Let's we'll start here. Let's draw a curve that comes down and then right here, about halfway, we're gonna curve into the outside of his arm. And we can match that same shape on the right side. Then let's draw a curve on the outside that comes down almost to the end, and then we'll connect out to the corner. And let's match that over here too. Then we can draw another little detail inside here. We'll start a little ways down, we'll come in, and then let's match that outside shape. And then right before we get to the outside of his arm, let's connect down to the bottom. And we can also put a little oval right here. That looks really cool. Yes. Okay, let's match that same shape right here. We'll start in the same spot here. We'll come down, follow it around, and then connect down to the bottom and add the oval. Yes, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw his chest and his body. We're gonna come 
about here, right down his forearm, and we're going to draw two diagonal lines. So one on this side, and then we're going to match the other diagonal line on the other side. Then let's draw a curve that starts here. We're going to connect to those two diagonal lines and go all the way across. And then we can also add, let's add a short little diagonal line from here coming up. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his back legs. We're going to come in from here and then we'll connect to his arm. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Come down and then connect to his arm. Okay, that's his back leg. Let's draw his feet. We're going to draw kind of the same shape we did for his front knuckles. We're going to draw a diagonal line here and then we'll connect to his thumb and we can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, let's add those individual toes or fingers, whatever you want to call them on a gorilla. <laughs> I'm going to draw the line down and then we'll split the outside shape, a line down and then split, well, the shape on the, yeah, on the inside. So we only can see three of the toes. Let's add some of those knuckle lines like we did for the hands. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We are going fast just because we're repeating those same steps on both sides. So always remember, if you need more time, you can pause the video. You can even rewind the video if you need to see the step again. Oh, let's add more mechanical details on his leg. Let's draw a shape right here. This kind of looks like the letter J. And then we can add a line coming down. And maybe two short lines or horizontal lines going the other way. Then we can do the same thing to match on the other side. Now let's add the details on his chest and his neck. And you could see a lot of the moving parts, robotic parts here on his neck. Let's start right below his chin. We're going to draw an imaginary line that comes down and then we're going to add a point right about here. That's a guide point. And then we can draw the letter V that comes down and connects to that point and then also to the other side. Then we can draw a little shape that comes up over and back down. And this is where the maximal insignia will be. Let's see if we can add it in. It's really small. So we're going to add these little details. I'm going to draw a little curve. And maybe we can zoom in so our friends can see this too. We're going to draw another curve to match on the other side. Then we're going to connect right here so you can kind of see the teeth at the bottom and the ears up at the top. We're going to draw a little line that connects there too. And if you can, add ooh, two, little, ah, <laughs> two little dots <laughs> for the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> There's our little maximal insignia. It looks super cool. Okay, now let's add two lines here for the robotic parts in his neck. We're going to draw two diagonal lines going this way and two going the other way. Then let's draw a little curve here on both sides. And let's draw another line for another detail on each side. Now let's draw more fur. I'm going to draw it coming down like this. Oh, let's actually, let's stop right about there. And before we keep going with the fur, let's draw a line right down the middle to split his chest muscles. And then we're going to draw a line that comes down to the left and also down to the right. Now he looks really strong. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to add that fur line that comes down and connects to here. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Optimus Primal. He looks really cool, except we're not done. We still need to color him. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yeah.
Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Optimus Primal. He turned out super cool, all colored in. Did you have fun? Yes. I hope our friends will take time to color their drawings also. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. And we used a lot of grays. Now Optimus Primal is black in the movie, but I thought it would be better to use gray so that you can see all of the details. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers to color with. If you have the same set, we used all of our cool grays. We used CG1, CG5, also CG7 and CG9. So CG1 is the lightest gray and we use that for the fur on the outside of his forearms and also this little detail. Then we use CG5 for pretty much the rest of Optimus Primal. Then we use CG7 for the parts on his body that looks like skin. Yeah, that's on his shoulders, also his chest, and this little part on his forearm. Then the last color, the darkest gray, CG9, we use for inside his mouth, his eyes, and also inside of his neck. And last we use 59 green for his eyes and his mouth. Yeah, it looks so cool with his mouth open, and I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> what else could our art friends add to their drawings? A background. Oh, a background, it would be really cool. Maybe you could draw the jungle and also you could draw even more of the Maximals. That would be awesome. Yes, that would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Optimus Primal. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and also parents remember you can click the link in the description below this video to purchase the movie Transformers Rise of the Beasts. We also like to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this video. Yes, thank you very much and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.